flip this up. We can see. I, I need to. You can see in here. And this is the. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the isolator solenoid back here. So what we need to do is we're going to clip our bolt meter to metal. And then we're going to, and this side is the house and we're reading 13.2 and this side is the chassis battery 12.6. So show the house. Yeah, so this is the chassis battery side, and this is the house. So the uh, left terminal on the solenoid is house, right terminal is chassis battery, and you have battery voltage. So that means that your fuses, all your connections are good from the chassis battery to the... Um, Isolator solenoid. Okay, so now you need to start the engine and then we can check whether the solenoid is bad. And the way we'll know the solenoid is bad is if we don't have... Okay, now you heard that click. That was the solenoid. And it takes a few seconds, like 30 seconds, because the there's a, a thing called an isolator delay relay. Okay, see it building? 13.9. Now the solenoid closed. Did you hear that click? Let's see, nothing's happening. See how that says 14? Then I go to the house side, it says 13.2. So you have a bad uh, isolator solenoid. We need to replace that. That's what you have over here? Yeah, I got a replacer. Oh. So that means we have to pull a seat um, to get to it. Fourteen. Yeah, 13.2. See, this 14, that should be over here. Because all that isolator solenoid does is it closes. So it joins the two batteries. So if you're not reading 14 on both terminals, the isolator solenoid isn't doing its job. Or it could be the isolator delay relay, but I, I don't typically see those fail. I see the isolator solenoid fail. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now we got to take the seat off. All right. <laughs>